Right, after the uh, explosive show from Tuesday, we will carry on this show with some La Mode, calling it as it is. This show will not be making up intel for clickbait, we will not be recycling old news and passing it off as new, and we will not be making any extraordinary claims of our own prowess. We will continue to develop us and ourselves in a dignified and progressive manner as one. The government often states, if you are not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't have anything to hide. But if that's the case then, shouldn't the government declassify everything? Now we covered Tuesday's show with a document and we start this one off with two more that are deeply revealing and also confirming of past shows. And here is a part of an official document surrounding the PCR test issued this year. Class 3 device recall biomeme SARS COVID-2 test. Date initiated January the 5th. 2021 create date february the 1st 2021 recall stasis 1 terminated 3 on june the 11th 2021 recall number z09402021 recall event id id number you know where that came from 87153 Product Classification Reagents 2019 Novel Coronavirus Nucleic Acid or pro Product Code QJR Product Nucleic Acids Based in Vitro Diagnostic Devices for the Detection of 2019 Novel Coronavirus and or Diagnosis of 2000 and 19 novel COVID infections in human clinical specimens. The RT-PCR test runs on a Franklin real-time PCR thermocycler device, reference number 1 followed by 5 zeros 3, 1 but followed by 4 zeros 18, with the software controller version 6.4.3. The cycler has a baseboard unit with firmware and associated software component that control motorized movements of the optical filter carriage used for PCR detection. Code information device reference catalog number black, one followed by five zeros and a three, white, one followed by four zeros and eighteen. Emergency use authorization. Recalling firm manufacturer Biomeme Inc. 1015 Chestnut Street, Philadelphia. And they gave a number. I wish our political activism group could get uh, active. To contact Andrew Barnard 267-930-7707. Manufacture reason for recall, users cannot complete testing due to a sign error in the software component that controls the filter movement and results in an instrument failure and assay failure before results are generated. The FDA determined cause software design and the action on the 1st of January 2021, Biomeme Inc. issued an urgent device recall correction for the latest build of the Franklin real-time PCR thermocycler, which affects some devices built since September the 21st, 2020. This software correction is to fix an issue where the, the device is unable to get past the beginning stages of the test. It was distributed in Florida, Texas, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, New York, California, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, and also Canada and Zimbabwe. 
Remember in the early expose series we spoke of the polymerase chain and its implications. Well, here is a description of thermocycler. The thermal cycler, also known as thermocycler, PCR machine or DNA amplifier is a laboratory apparatus most commonly used to amplify segments of DNA via the polymerase chain reaction. So to put it bluntly, the swab test is installing a piece of apparatus to amplify DNA using the polymerase chain reaction, which is why it is called the PCR test. PCR, polymerized chain reaction. Now this one piece confirms one of our earlier exposés reports that, that that test is nothing to do with detection of the virus. Detection, in case we all forgot, for viruses was a plastic stick with cotton wool swab on the end. This, in their own words, was a device. So let's look at the description of the word device, shall we? Device, a thing made for a particular purpose, an invention or contrivance, especially a mechanical or electrical one, a plan or scheme for effecting a purpose, a crafty scheme or trick. A piece of equipment or mechanism designed to serve a special purpose or perform a special function. The examples definition gave for this special function. Smartphone and other electronic devices. In their words, a hidden recording device. Synonyms of device. Artifice. Dodge. Fetch. Flim flam. Gambit. Gimmick. Jig, juggle, knack, play, ploy, ruse, scheme, shenanigan, slight, stratagem, trick, while. And since when has a cotton wool swab contained software? Why were we not notified of such? And this is a direct invasion of people's privacy and body that surely comes under the Nuremberg Code. As the VAERS, the Side Effects Reporting Group, has received 40% of all its death reports in its 30-year history from COVID alone. And what this should alert all people now is the medical profession, the government agencies protecting and approving these devices the government are all prepared to commit not only invasion of people's bodies for their own ends, but will go to great lengths to spy, manipulate, conceal, deny and coerce the public into dangerous situations for their own desire to control, maim or kill the populace. I have repeatedly said many, for many years, long before even I started radio shows. All care, teaching, medical, government services, law groups, police, pharmaceutical are not there to serve we the people. Just to use us as cannon fodder, guinea pigs, batteries, louche and experiments to serve their paymasters. And it's time all the people realise this fact. Don't trust hospitals. Doctors, chemists, lawyers, judges, police, politicians, social service, adult and child services and governments and in particular all medicines, vaccines, creams, pills and potions. Is that fair some may ask? Well that is your choice. And I'm not talking about individuals here. Well my son or daughter works in blah blah and they're not like that. I'm talking in overview, not individuals. Because that's how they get away with it. They send good people out to protect this system 
when all systems supposedly for and by the people are corrupt. And this is what the TPC is all about. The TPC can correct all of that if we pool our resources together. We can take good people in all of those professions who don't wish to work for those corrupt systems and build our own network. Build hospitals with people who are taught in cures. Doctors and nurses based on how much they care. Chemists that use natural remedies. Lawyers that use Rita, cosmic or natural law. Police who operate in a civil manner. Politicians operating under the memes of the TPC. Social adults and child services who care for the patients, not use them in experiments, MKUltra or otherwise, organ harvesting or adrenochrome, or sell babies for monetary gain. And this is the duty of every man, woman and child to build this system for them by the people as their system has never, ever worked for us. In the 18 and early 1900s, on all medicines, they had a clear and distinct warning on the bottle or package. It said, poison. Why? Because they're all poisons is why.